clothing meets a basic human need, and it's also a way to express our personal style. Who doesn't like to have some fun with fashion? But we rarely stop to think about how our clothing choices are impacting the planet. In many countries, making clothing and footwear still involves the use of harmful chemicals. A decade ago, Greenpeace challenged the industry to start tackling 11 of the most toxic chemical groups. Soon after, the Zero Discharge of Hazardous Chemicals Foundation was born as an industry initiative of brands, manufacturers and chemical companies collaborating to remove and replace these toxins. So how did they start? ZDHC initiated a mind shift, expanding the focus from consumer protection to also protecting the workers and the environment in the production countries. In addition to a restricted substance list, RSL, banning toxins from the finished products, ZDHC introduced a manufacturer's restricted substance list, MRSL, banning hazardous chemicals from the production process. So what has ZDHC achieved so far? The most recent data shows that 98% of tested facilities in our sample have no detections on the 11 hazardous chemical groups identified by Greenpeace, which reflects that those chemicals are no longer intentionally used by the ZDHC community. A community that has grown from 6 to 30 brands and 150 contributors in total. 100% of brands are committed to implementing the ZDHC MRSL and more than 80 testing labs around the world have been approved. In short, the groundwork has been laid for better chemicals management, but ZDHC's job is far from done, because the textile industry is huge and real impact requires collective action on a global scale. So what's needed next? ZDHC will continue to grow its community, increasing convergence so that more manufacturers and brands follow the same MRSL. ZDHC will continue to train stakeholders in sustainable chemicals management along a complex supply chain and raise awareness among consumers because it's our fashion choices that will make the biggest impact. After all, we don't just want to look good, we want to feel good too.